everyone! Welcome to Patty's Polish Corner. Okay, I'm really excited to bring you this video. I've worked really hard on trying to find a uh, Manny that I would want to wear. <laughs> um, the story behind it is, okay, so today is Wednesday and Mother's, and I'm, I'm doing my Manny today because I'm not going to have enough, I'm not going to have any time to do it again at all before Mother's Day. I'm taking a long weekend from work, so I'll be I'll be gone for four days and I'm just really excited to relax. I'm not gonna be doing any videos. I've already done some pre-videos um, to tide me over. So I had to figure out what I would want to wear on my nails for almost a week. <laughs> and I get tired of looking and I think I got it and I hope you like it. So I'm gonna quit blabbing, I'm gonna show you the picture and then I'll show you how I created it. So let's get started. I'll be using Wave Gel Base Gel and Shiny No Clean Top Gel and the Mood Color Big Favor. It's one of my favorites. I'm gonna need another bottle soon and Misty Blush. I accidentally did the top, um, first coat of Misty Blush. Sorry about that, but let's get on to the big favor. I'll let you see me do the second coat of Misty Blush. So the big favor is a kind of like a dark fuchsia pink and it um and then when it's warm it's like a really light color almost neon pink it's very pretty and the misty blush is a um, tan color okay so now I'm gonna go with my second coat of misty blush And I'm going to put my second coat of Big Favor on. I'll be right back after it's cured. I'm gonna go ahead and put the top coat on all of the pink nails because I am not doing any nail art on those it on those nails, so we'll just get them covered and we won't have to worry about them. Okay, so now I have two brushes and on some tin foil I have some of the big favor. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to create some flowers. I'm going to use the bigger brush to do a bigger flower. Right here. Just making the petals. Kind of 
kind of want to make sure that it's opaque enough so we're not seeing the color underneath. There we go. Okay. Then with the other brush, I'm just going to create a small flower over here. I have to turn my finger. Okay, and I will cure that and come back. So now I'm going to add some of these cute little rose gold gems. I just love these. And I'm going to use um, Moira. It's called Fixing Gel 1. I believe Fixing Gel 2 comes in a little pot, but I like the Fixing Gel 1 because it has a brush. So basically, it is kind of a thicker... I don't know, clear coat um, that will, it's supposed to really help the gems stick down really good. So I'm just going to put, I'm trying to keep it thin. I don't think I really want it, you know, too thick. It is kind of a something thick. Anyway, so I'm just putting that all over my nail. Then I got a little wax pickup pencil and I'm just going to dive in here and grab a gem and stick it down. Got three, and I'm going to put one over here. Okay, so now I'm going to cure that. So the fixing gel, I think it's got a tacky layer, but I'm not going to touch it because I think I've seen somebody like wipe it when they were done doing the gems. And uh, so now I'm just going to take my regular top coat. And I'm going to go in and I'm going to go around the gems, not over them. And I could go over them. It's not going to hurt them. They aren't Swarovskis. So they'll just look fine. You know, whether they have top coat covering them or not. But I just decided not to this time. So I'm just kind of keeping it... Kind of around the edges and they'll just secure them down because the um this top coat will come up around them that makes any sense Okay, so now I'm going to cure that and come back. Okay, so here's the finished look, and this is when my hands are warm. So let me see if I can cool this off and get to that other color. And here's what it looks like when it's cold. So if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not one of my subscribers, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.